How to make your own scalar presets using the scalar shell preset. Hello everyone. In this video, we will show you how to make your own scalar presets using scalar shell preset. There are two types of built-in presets in the Spooky2 software. Factory presets that contain frequencies and shell presets without frequencies. When we want to make our own customized presets, we can make them out of shell presets. Let's say I need a preset for sleep. Here's how I build my scalar preset for it. First, I click the presets tab. In the presets column on the left, I select shell empty presets. Now, the presets column on the left fills with names of all the presets contained in this collection. Since I want a scalar preset, I click the scalar subcollection. Next, I select the spooky scalar general SSJW preset. Its preset notes appear in the notes column to the right and its settings load into the settings tab. Enter sleep into the search field, then choose appropriate programs. I double click each program that I want to load. They will appear in the loaded programs column on the lower left. I return to the presets tab and add some information for myself in the notes column. Then click the Save button. The Select Preset Destination and Name dialog below opens. Here I've used the New Folder command to create one new folder for Scalar first. Double click the Scalar folder to place the preset inside that folder. In the File Name field, I type ss sleep. Dash Linda and click Save. The SS is to remind me that this is a scalar preset when I'm working in the control tab. It's very important to name your presets like this so there's never any confusion about which transmission mode it's designed for because inadvertently running contact or remote presets can damage a spooky scalar. Better to be safe than sorry. Return to presets and click the user button. Then the scalar subcollection. Here's my new presets and you can see its programs. Thanks for watching this video.